Good evening, one and all. Hope you're well. Um, okay, a cigar video. I should say another cigar video. However, I haven't uploaded the last one that I did. Um, I recorded a video um, about uh, a few days ago. I don't remember exactly when. A few days ago um, of a Cuban cigar. Uh, a, uh, it was actually a part of this limited edition from 2017. Um, and uh, anywho, um, I decided to do another one. This time, it's a Siri V Milano 2018 limited edition from Oliva. Um, now, I'm a big fan of the Milanos. Um, I'm not not the, the uh, Maduro version, but the regular version, and I tend to gravitate towards the uh, robusto size generally. I do like the perfectos as well, but in terms of um, just the size. Otherwise, it just takes too long to smoke if you go for the Perfecto. So, Robusto is about the right size for me. Um, so, um, so and I bought this, I'm trying to remember when I bought this, uh, a few months ago. It's been sitting in my humidor waiting for the right time. I figured I'll do that tonight. I'll just read you the description on the Cigar Journal website. Um, the Cerebi Milano Edition Limitada is a Robusto presented in a black lacquer collectible case containing 10 cigars. It will be available in October 2018. Clearly this was written earlier. The Cerebi Milano Edition Limitada 2018 is full flavoured yet smooth. It is expertly blended with Nicaraguan Habano tobaccos from the Jalapa region as a, an area known for a more nuanced leaf than neighbouring Esteli or Condega regions. This carefully aged Jalapa blend produces a rich smoke. The wrapper is a proprietary seed grown by Oliva in Ecuador. This limitada is made up of only the premium aged tobaccos. The cigar is presented in a limited edition black lacquer wooden case. The look and feel of the outer sleeve is reminiscent of a box of fine chocolates. The wooden boxes contain 10, ten cigars and only a thousand boxes were produced. This makes a total of 10,000 cigars available only outside the United States. That's actually quite a limited run in the grand scheme of things. So uh, in terms of the size of the cigar, it's a classic Robusto size. It's a five inch by 50 ring gauge. So it's a classic Robusto. Um, so just about the right size for me. Interestingly, I'm looking now at the Seagars website, which is a, a UK website, and it quotes it as being a limited run of 5,000 cigars. So I don't know which one is correct. Either way, it's pretty limited. Whether it's five or 10,000, that's pretty limited. So, we shall cut it. This is my cigar cutter of choice these days, made by Paleo. Really good quality uh, cutter. Comes with this uh, extra band on the foot, which just uh, gives it a little bit of gravitas, nothing more. So, the dry draw. The dry draw is very reminiscent of the Milano, uh, maybe a little bit richer. Um, a lot of rich cedar there. A little bit chocolatey. All right, uh, it's really quite rich and it's uh, a little bit of pepper at the back of the mouth, even without lighting it. In terms of how it looks, um, really very very nice i've always expected really good um aesthetics uh, from the melania range i've always loved the melania range i've always loved the, the leaf the leaf on this one looks a shade darker than the standard um melania the non maduro melania um in fact i may even have some left let me see if i can make a comparison that's actually quite a neat idea yes <laughs> The, uh, the the limited edition one comes in a in a black black presentation box. 
Oh, what have we got? We've got one left, last one. So these ones, if you have a look at the leaf, slightly brighter and it's got more like a mottled chocolatey colour. So some bits are darker, some bits are lighter. And if you make a comparison, let's have a look if we can see a difference. So there you can, yes, you can see a difference in the shade. That's a shade darker. This is not uh, quite Claro, it's darker than Claro to my eyes. Um, but this one is even darker. Not quite Maduro dark, but still darker than the standard Melania. I should have to get another box of these Melanias. I should have really got another box a while back so they had some time to sit in the humidor. Um, okay, so here we go. I'll go with the regular lighter today. So just toasting the foot, not actually touching the cigar, but just letting it ignite from a slight distance. So it doesn't overheat the foot, but it does toast it nicely. It's obviously getting hot enough to ignite, but just holding it off a little bit prevents it from over burning, but enough to toast it. So once it's black, bring it to your mouth and start lighting. actually quite a harsh couple of draws at the beginning. Like a very, very um, neat tobacco flavour. Very strong, heavy tobacco flavour. Not very pleasant, actually. But you can never tell, it means nothing about the cigar itself. Who knows, it could have been affected by this being on the foot or maybe just the, I don't know. You can never tell, from the foot, you can't tell. You know, when you smoke most Cuban cigars, as soon as you light it, you get usually a very creamy, nutty, buttery flavor. And that goes within a minute or two, unless it's a very creamy cigar. But um, even the most spicy Cuban cigars often will start off very smooth and creamy. Um, I've literally taken, I've just lit it, that's all I've done. And, I, and my, the, the roof of my mouth is already feeling a bit chilly heat kind of uh, sensation. I hope it's not going to be a super spicy cigar. Um, but it is what it is, and we will find out. The regular Mil Milano, uh, to me, um, is, a, is a very smooth cigar. It's got a lot of flavour, a lot of sweetness. Um, a lot of uh, like a cinnamon, um, burnt sugar, um, brown sugar kind of flavour to it, um, and I find it to be very nice. It's it doesn't have that heavy peppery edge that you get on a lot of uh, New World cigars. Um, so we'll see what this one is like. I do find with New World cigars, uh, the more um, elite or exclusive they are, they tend to be stronger and more peppery. That seems to be what the American crowd like. I don't like those, I detest those kind of cigars, so I'm hoping that this is not that, but uh, we shall soon see. All right, well, we're just under a centimeter in and settled down very nicely, but it's um, a very, very pokey cigar. Really, it's, it's full on from the off, but it still manages to be smooth. Um, it has got the Melania flavors. It's got that sweetness, it's got that sweet spiciness, uh, but it is very peppery. The, the retro head is a blast, um, which really knocks your head off. Um, so I just do a mild retro hill, um, and uh, there is some heat there. Uh, and if you control the retro hill, depends. If you like the uh, heavy retro hill, then you'll love it. But if not, but you do enjoy a retro hill, say on a Cuban cigar, then you can do that with this one. Just sort of temper it. Just take it easy on the retro and it actually gives a very nice flavor it adds just the it kind of rounds off the whole flavor more of the same flavor that you get in the mouth but it just rounds it off nicely it really sort of in, enhances that sweetness brings a bit of heat 
uh, brings a bit of a blast of pepper through the nose. Um, you can just gently sip on it and it, 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 it's much better. But uh, so far, so good. Well, um, about halfway through the cigar, and uh, the bands obviously they're quite big on this, so the first one comes off. Um, I haven't really come in that frequently simply because it's been pretty linear um, all the way through, pretty much the same flavors, very consistent. Um, it's uh, the construction's been very good, lots of smoke. Um, and for me, uh, I, at this stage, certainly I could sum it up as being just a stronger version of the Milano, a more pokey, stronger, richer, pe more pepper um, version of the Milano. Uh, that's essentially what it is. So we'll see how it develops further. And time for the main band. I've always been very taken by the Siri V Milano bands, and all the Oliva bands really. I find them to be very, very well designed, very complimentary with the color of the wrapper as well. I've always been very impressed with that. Flavor's pretty much the same, still that same sweetness, that sugary sweetness, um, a little bit of cedar, um, not really earthy, not chocolatey, and maybe a fraction of chocolate, not really coffee. It's tobacco and that sweetness, and that's been pretty much consistent throughout. Um, it hasn't, uh, I would say, it hasn't ramped up big time in terms of fullness and strength. It's been pretty full all the way through, virtually. Um, and it's um, remained so pretty much throughout. Okay, so it's actually smoking pretty well, but uh, we're coming towards the end. Um, so time for a summing up. So we start off as always with visual construction. Visually, I'm always impressed by the Oliva Serie V Milano series. Um, and this one is no different. Um, as I showed you right at the beginning of the video, um, the wrapper on this one is a little bit darker than the regular Melania, um, but uh, well rolled. Um, I personally prefer the regular Melania because I like that mottled look um, to the wrapper. Um, but nevertheless, that's, uh, this is a, a limited edition. And as with Cuban limited editions, they tend to be darker wrappers as well. Um, so this one has a darker wrapper. It's, it was quite oily. Um, and you can actually see the tooth on, on the ash there. And you can see the little dots on the wrapper as well, which means that they're um, really quite oily um, with lots of flavorful essential oils in the wrapper. Um, so visually, absolutely spot on. Um, it's not uh, earth shattering, just a nicely well made, well rolled, good looking cigar. So for me, it gets an eight on the visual construction, uh, mechanical construction. Um, it's really what I come to expect from most New World cigars, but especially the Siri V. Um, the Siri Vs have always been superb, absolutely spot on construction, very good draw. Um, when I actually took the cap off this one, um, it, it was actually a, it required quite a bit of effort, and I was a little bit nervous that it might be a tight cigar, which is something I've very, very, very rarely come across. With New World cigars. I do not recall the last time I had a, a tight New World cigar. I think in all of the say past five years or so that I've been smoking cigars, um, I think I've only ever come across one cigar which was tight in, in a New World cigar and that's a pretty amazing record when you compare it to Cuban cigars. Um, the, the burn has been very good throughout, uh, really pretty much razor sharp virtually. Um, haven't had to touch it up at all, not a single time. Um, haven't had to re relight it. The draw's been great. A mouthful of rich smoke on the first draw. You don't have to sort of pull it three or four times till you get smoke through it, like you get with a lot of Cubans. Um, so the mechanical construction has been superb as well. Um, and for me, I can't really criticize it. Um, so mechanical construction for me, um, I I'd go so far as to say a 10, uh, absolutely spot on. No criticism at all. Um, flavors, um, as I said, the flavors. It's been pretty much a, 
a fairly linear affair. Um, the flavors which I got right at the beginning, um, literally on lighting, were a little bit harsh. <clears throat> and I don't know what that was. Um, you know, sometimes you get that at the beginning, um, but it, it, that went away pretty much straight away. And you got into the Siri V um, DNA straight away. Uh, that sugary sweetness and tobacco. Um, really not much complexity for me. Um, pleasant, but powerful. Um, very full, pretty much from the off. Um, you know, maybe the first third, you'd put it at a medium plus, but it was full from there on, and it stayed that way pretty much. Um, may have settled a little bit as I got through the, the second half, maybe going back to somewhere between medium plus and full, but it's been a pretty full on cigar. Um, I'm kind of going into the uh, fullness and strength territory now, but going back to the flavors. Um, so the flavors, sugary sweetness, uh, like a burnt sugar, um, uh, not quite cinnamon, but that kind of sweet spice sweetness, um, and and tobacco really, and cigar flavor, it's just basic cigar flavor. Um, but that sweetness is very nice. Um, it's dependable. It's consistent. You can rely on it if it's a flavor that you like. If it's a flavor you, you fancy at any particular time, you know you can rely on it that you're going to get that flavor. Um, but it is a linear affair. Um, there's no complexity for me. I didn't really get any complexity at all. Um, no layers or flavor. Um, so I have to be honest, you know, in the second half, I, I got pretty bored with it. Um, hence the fact that I'm finishing off now, um, which I usually don't do. Um, and kind of waiting for it to finish kind of thing, which is unusual for me. Still smoking very well. Um, so in terms of fullness, as I've pretty much described, medium plus right at the beginning, going into full territory, and then maybe at this stage, uh, sort of somewhere between medium plus and full. Um, it's settled back a little bit in the second half. Strength, um, actually I was surprised, I, I thought it would be stronger um, in terms of um, sort of nicotine strength, but um, it's been around the medium pretty much throughout. Um, I didn't mention by the flavours and the pepperiness. The pepperiness in the first half was quite powerful, especially on the retro hill. Um, in the second half, again, that's also stepped back a little bit in line with uh, the fullness. Um, uh, it's unusual, actually. Uh, on this one, the first half was definitely more of a had more of a kick to it. Um, so strength-wise, I would say around a medium, not even moving into medium plus. Which is quite unusual. I think most cigars that I smoke, I tend to find that the strength goes hand in hand with the fullness. Um, so overall, Mark, um, I don't really see what this brings to the game. This 2018 limited edition side of things. You know, with the limited edition, you expect something special, something extra. And for me, all this has brought is a little bit more power, um, a little more more richness, not in strength but in fullness and richness um, and a little bit of heat in the beginning. Um, so for me, um, I, I prefer a more, uh, not necessarily milder cigar, but a smoother, more well-balanced cigar. And that extra richness, that extra kick kind of overbalances it for me. Um, and I much prefer the regular Serie V Milano. So this is not a cigar that I would necessarily go out and buy. Um, I much prefer the, the regular Serie V Milano. It is starting to um, go out now. I'm going to leave it. Um, taking the Serie V itself, the, the basic Serie V, against the Serie V Milano, I would certainly go for the Milano without a doubt. The Serie V, the regular Serie V, I find it to be a little bit more savoury. Um, and I prefer the Serie V Milano. Um, so overall mark, overall mark, I would give this around a 7. Um, it's not my cup of tea. It was okay, absolutely fine, um, but just not something which really made me think, hmm, I'd like to get another one of these. Um, it's possible that, you know, putting some aside, leaving them for a few years and coming back to them, it's possible that they would be mellow um, and maybe you'd appreciate a little bit of an extra um, sort of boost from it. I'm not sure. Um, I actually found that the Serie V Milano, the regular one, has actually more layers to it and a little bit more complexity. Um, 
and I think I enjoy those better. So that's the Siri V Milano limited edition for 2018. Hope you've enjoyed that. I will catch you on the next one.